Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I want to give you an update on this leak of the RSI Galaxy. There's a lot of confusion about what's happening because Xylo tweeted out, or I think he posted on Spectrum, uh, airing his disappointment about what happened here. Now, this leak came from inside the building. A dev took this picture and put it out there, which was very disappointing to everyone who's worked on that team that wants this ship to be a surprise. Now, when things leak because they're in a game file, like the new patch comes out and there's a game file in that says something, that's expected. But this was not supposed to leak in that sense. Now, things have changed because the latest patch is out and the hologram for the RSI Galaxy is out and I am going to show that to you. So if you do want this to be a surprise, stop watching right now. In fact, uh, Board Game has probably got one of his videos list of here. Go watch some Board Game here. And I am going to show you the 3D model taken from the hologram mesh of the RSI Galaxy, which we know is coming out because also listed right over there, it says November 26th, don't miss the unveiling of an all new revolutionary craft from RSI. That coupled with the fact that we have the actual hologram mesh already means the RSI Galaxy is a thing. Uh, what Xylo was referencing about certain things not being true uh, were early concepts, maybe the modularity. Some things listed in the description might not be what was put out there. But as far as the ship itself, we know. And so without further ado, here is the 3D model of it. Again, if you want this to be a surprise, turn off right now. Come back November 26th when this is released. So here it is, the 3D model of the ship itself. Beautiful. Let it sink in. If you ever wanted your own personal mini Star Destroyer, <laughs> there it is. And uh, I guess the next question is, well, how big is it? What is the size? And if we take a look at the cockpit area right here, uh, that is essentially the cockpit from the Constellation. So if you can imagine uh, a seat in the middle, two seats on the sides, that's roughly what the size will be. To give you another bearing, uh, let's basically take the cockpit over there and just push this over, which I guess we can kind of zoom in. So from that front end over there to roughly where the screen ends, I would say is the size of a Constellation. So keep that in mind, Constellation sized, and if we just zoom out, there we have the entire size. So most of the ship is the nose part, which I assume is empty, but it does house landing gear and has uh, that size 5 remote turret at the bottom. What we do know, what we can see from this image itself is basically uh, three size 5 turrets remote. Obviously, there's no one that fits in there. I'm hoping that these will be pilot controlled like the Constellation. If they are not, I will be very upset. But as far as the aesthetic of the ship goes, come on, it's it's an instant buy, or at least an instant upgrade from something else. I'm not sure what is going to be melting down or upgraded to this just yet. It's going to depend on what the ship does offer. But as far as the design goes, come on, how can you not want that? Right? Especially if it comes in black. Uh, well, most likely white because RSI, but uh, a little mini Star Destroyer of your own, definitely. Uh, one more thing we can tell about the bottom side over here is, uh, well, that back end is kind of, I'm not sure if there's something missing from that. It looks kind of flat to me. But what we do see at the bottom over there is uh, that's where the ramp is. That is a ramp which I feel will extend down to the bottom, and in just in front of that is most likely a hangar which will drop down. So... I think what we'll see is definitely enough room for a rover, a ramp to drive stuff in with. And uh, overall, I like it. From what we've seen so far, I'm sold. Um, not that I'm buying one straight up. I'll most likely being upgrade, I'll upgrade something else to it. I don't know what yet. Uh, the 600 was my first guess, but the 600 rework is looking pretty good. So something else might get sacrificed for this. Uh, the price point is the next issue. And I know that kind of surprised us in uh, recent concept sales, like the um, the Raylan, which came in pretty good in the low 200s. Uh, I feel they've been pricing chips pretty low recently, which everyone's been loving. So if this comes in around, should we say, five 600 on the low end, uh, I think that's fair based upon its size. And that seems to be one of the features which uh, things are rated upon these days. But uh, overall... Yeah, 
it's here. This is the hologram. This is the mesh. We know they're announcing it at 26. So uh, this is what we will see. The only surprise left, I guess, is what the price will be and uh, if there's any going to be a fancy ad or brochure. Uh, trying to pitch this to us, but I'm already sold on the shape alone. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Are you going to consider melting something down for this? Is this a ship that you like the design of? Uh, I say yes. If you don't, leave my channel immediately because this is hot. In any case, let's wrap it up. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.